Good morning. How are you? Teacher Tim, he's doing good. Thank you. And how was your weekend? I hope you had a good weekend. My weekend was all right. So now today we're going to start a new unit. We're going to start with unit five in your books. So if you take out your books and look at page 102, so here, number positions to 10th. Okay, so some students are visiting the art house. So this is the art house and the teacher, she tells the students, please line up. So they line up, they make a queue. Okay, all right. So today I'm going to talk about number positions to 10 which the unit is called, and I have written on the board, number positions to 10. But, so positions to number positions, it could have been called ordinal numbers, because ordinal numbers tells us position. So a number that tells us what position, that is called an ordinal number. Do you understand? So, an ordinal number tell us a position, what position. So this unit is called number positions to 10 or to 10th. Okay? Uh, but the unit could have been called ordinal numbers. Because ordinal numbers, they tell us position. Okay, so if you know, uh, I'm sure you have seen and heard this, dates, dates of every month. So then we usually write, well not always, but we could write, today is 30th, 30th, oh, sorry, oh, 30th. Sorry, my mistake. So today is 30th of, what month is it? July. July. So this is an ordinal number because it tells us what position. Today, this day is position 30th of July. July has 31 days and this day today is 30th, number 30, 30, but because it tells us in what position this day is, that's why we add the th, 30th. So today is day 30 of July. So because 30 of July tells us that this day is day number 30 of 31 days of July, that's why we add the th, because it's an ordinal number, 30th of July. And the th, I will explain that a little bit later, in this video, but a little bit later. So, ordinal numbers, they tell us in what position. So, every day of every month, they are ordinal numbers, because they tell us what position of what the, what day that, I'm sorry, what position that day has of every month. So just as I told you, today is third, day 30 of July. So that, that has the position 30th. Okay? I'm sorry, I, I was stumbling over my words. I apologize. But do you understand? So another date not this date today, but let's say this date. Seventeen of February. Seventeen. I chose. I'm sorry. I chose that date, that date seventeen, because it's my birthday. So. 17, the 17th day of 
February. So February has either 28 or 29 days, depends on if it's a leap year. Every fourth year is a leap year, so February has 29 days every fourth year. Oh, and now again I said fourth because it's an ordinal number. Because we count one, two, three, four, every fourth year. It's a position. Every fourth year, February has 29 days. So three years has every first, second, third year, it has 28 days. Well, actually, I had 28.25 or whatever. It has just over 28 days. So every fourth year, it has 29 days. Okay? So, 17th is also an ordinal number. So that's why the th. So if you think about it, every date for a month they are ordinal, ordinal numbers, okay? But then what are every other number? Good question. So they are called cardinal numbers. A cardinal number is a number such as 1, 3, 5 or 10. I, I only wrote up to 10 today because this unit is called number positions to 10. Or to tenth okay but it can be higher it can be 100 1000 1 million okay so such as 1 3 5 or 10 that tells us how many things there are in a group but not what order they are in because if they tell us what order they are in then they are not cardinal numbers then they are ordinal numbers. I know these are difficult words to remember but I'm just taking this from the beginning so that you will know it, the foundations, you will have a good base to stand on. Okay, the book do not explain about this at this point but I want you to understand why so I'm explaining this first. Okay, so now if you look to my right here, I'm going to go in a little bit more into explaining cardinal and ordinal numbers. So if you look here, excuse me, okay. Alright, good, you can see. Alright, good. So, cardinal numbers, as I said, they, you, do, you count with them. You, they tell you how many things there are of whatever items. So, one, one dot. Two, two dots. Three, three dots. Four, four dots. Five, five dots. Six, six dots. Seven, seven dots. Eight, eight dots. Nine, nine dots. Ten, ten dots. Okay, now let's look at the ordinal numbers. Okay, so first, as I told you before, about 30th, 30th July and 17th of February. Now I will tell you why I said TH. So, if you look at how it is spelled with letters, the word first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. So, if we take the last two letters, and we add them to the cardinal numbers, so we get another ordinal number, but we, we're using both the cardinal and, and the last letters of each written word. So we get first, second, so you see we use 
the Arabic letters still. So we use one from the cardinal side and we put it together with the last two letters of uh, the word first. So then we get one and st, two and nd, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Okay, so that is this is basically a shorter version of instead of writing the, the whole word. So you write the number in Hindu Arabic and then you just add the last two letters of the 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 word. Okay? So that's why they do that with dates because otherwise it would they would need much more space if they were to write the word 30th. Okay? So I hope you understand this. If not, I will explain it some more, but you have to tell me. Oh, if, and if you look at the dots, as I said, I showed you the dots here. One, one dot, two, two dots. Here, first, first. So we have five dots, and I have made the red dot to, to indicate these numbers, the position of these numbers. Not only the numbers, but the position, because that's what ordinal numbers do. They tell us positions. Okay? So, first, there are five dots, but the red dot is in the first position. Okay? Second, the red dot is in the second position. Third, dot, red dot is in the third position. Fourth, fourth position. Fifth, fifth position. Sixth, now we have 10 dots here. Up here we only had 5 dots, but now we have 10. So 6th, 6th position. 7th, 7th position. 8th, 8th position. 9th, 9th position. And 10th, 10th position. But you can go on. 11th, 12th, and so on and so on. But this unit only goes up to 10. Okay? All right, so now if we move over to my right, uh, my left, your right and my left, over here. All right, can you see the butterflies and the Kit Kat chocolate bars? All right, good. So let's see. <clears throat> Okay, so now let me ask you, are these ordinal numbers or are they cardinal numbers? Hmm? So let's start with the Kit Kats. So we have one, two, three, four, five Kit Kats. So the Kit Kats, are they ordinal numbers or cardinal numbers? Anyone? Hmm? Uh, what did you say? Oh, cardinal numbers? That is correct. And why? Yes, you're almost almost one. Ah, good job. You're right. They are cardinal numbers because they just tell you how many Kit Kats. So they tell you five Kit Kats. Five Kit Kats. Okay? They do not tell you in what position because they are just a bunch of Kit Kats, five Kit Kats in a pile. Okay? So now let's look at the butterflies. Hmm, are they ordinal numbers or cardinal numbers? I will tell you they are trying to get to the flower. Okay? They are tired. They want to rest on the flower. So, are they ordinal numbers or cardinal numbers? Right. They are ordinal numbers. Okay. Why? Why? 
Good, that is correct. They are ordinal numbers because they have a position. They are trying to get to the flower, all of them. So they are flying, flying, flying really fast. So this butterfly is in the first position. And this butterfly is in the second position. This one in, is in the third position. And fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. He is in the last position. First position, last position. But in this case, the last position is seventh place. So, yes, these are ordinal numbers. These are cardinal numbers. Okay? Do you understand? All right, good. So, now I am going to give you a few small easy worksheets to do. All right. So, I'm going to change my camera angle and then I will see you in a few seconds. Okay? All right. Okay. So, we are back and this is the first worksheet and I don't think that needs much explanation. It's draw and match. Okay? <clears throat> so you see on top, this fish, he is first in line. So you can see, they have already helped you to give you the first one. He is the first one because he is on top, the first in line. So first, and then this fish, what position does it have? Third, fifth, second, sixth or fourth. Okay, so draw and match. Okay, the second worksheet is almost the same, but here they have birds instead of fish, and as you can see, now they're using the numbers and just the last two letters as I just taught you. So this bird is number what? This bird is number what? Okay, what position is? So this one is th in third position. What position is this bird in? And this? Okay. So this is for you parents out there. I have now given the correct answers on these pictures. So just have a look and help your children with marking them if, if they need. All right, and this will be the second worksheet. 